And before uh, Miss Kiawati uh, speak in this session, we have a wonderful speaker from Indonesia also, Miss Kiawati. Hello, Miss Kiawati. Uh, you can prepare them uh, before you speak uh, on your material. And before that, uh, I will introduce her. Miss Kiawati Yulilania Okinarum works as a midwifery lecturer and researcher at the Department of Midwifery Education Program, Faculty of Health Science, Universitas Respati Yogyakarta, Indonesia. With a background in midwifery science in Universitas Pajajaran, exploring the importance of nutrition for children using a mobile application that she developed. Since then, her research has continued to examine using a mobile application that she developed. And uh, the, her research has continued to examine maternal and child health, infant feeding or breastfeeding, mentality health, also gender equity that relates to nutrition, and her ability to critically think about the field related practice and competencies has position her to effectively advocate and advance the field to a diverse population in a scoop of maternal and child health. She has received numerous awards and grants in the field of research. The initiator of a portable lactation room in the tourist area of Yogyakarta City, the founder of Ruang Sehati and Remaja Bergerak, and she also a director of research field, Yayasan Bidan Berbagi Indonesia. And uh, the study is about development of the Ruang Sehati, a portable lactation room innovation in tourism area and Indonesian pilot project. Wow, it's interesting topic. And Ms. Kiawati uh, together uh, do the study with Miss Fanny, yeah, Miss Fanny and Miss Hasta from Indonesia. Okay. Nice start. Okay. Um, thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Rizka, and good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming here to our presentation and taking time out of such a busy schedule. I'm Giawati Lelani Okinarum, and everyone call me Gita. I'm originally from Indonesia, and I'm a midwifery lecturer and researcher from Universitas Espati Jakarta, Indonesia. I hope you will find this topic informative and interesting. So the topic of my talk is development of the Ruang Sehati, a portable lactation room innovation in tourism areas in Indonesia pilot project. This is our team, me, Fanny, and Hasta. Currently, Fanny is continuing her doctoral studies in the midwifery and social science program at the University of Manchester. She is a lecturer in nursing program at Universitas Respati Yogyakarta. And Hasta is also a lecturer in the informatics study program from Universitas Respati Yogyakarta. Fanny and Hasta, can you say hi to everyone here? Yeah, okay. And at this moment, we are going to say thank you for Yogyakarta City Government, Universitas Respati Yogyakarta, and our lovely breastfeeding mothers. I'm just um, speaking to say thanks for the assistance on the research last year. And we really appreciate you stepping in to support us. I know you had to put in extra hours to catch up on your own work. So thank you so much. And your expertise was vital for this research and we couldn't have finished it successfully without you. You really helped us and we hope to work with you again on future research. Um, yeah, this is the location. 
Do you know Indonesia? <laughs> yeah, Indonesia is composed of um, 17,000 islands that stretch over 5,000 miles along the equator. The Malay Peninsula and Indochina are situated to the northwest and the continent of Australia lies due south northward lie the Philippines and Micronesia. The world's largest archipelago, Indonesia's uh, constellation of islands, straddles the divide between the Asia and Australian continental plates. As a result, um, the islands offer a stunning variety of topographies and Sorry, ecologies. Uh, miss, yeah. Uh, we can. Hello. Hello, Miss Gita. Hello. We cannot see uh, your slides. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. oh. So can see you see my Can you see my slides now? Yes, we can see your slide now. Okay. Now, Giawati, you are the moderator and you can move your slides. Okay, I'll start. I, I will start here. Is it okay for you? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, what is it? Indonesia. Indonesia is composed of 17,000 um, islands that stretch over 5,000 miles along the, along the equator. Uh, the Malay Peninsula and Indo Indochina are situated to the northwest and continent of Australia lies, lies to south, northward lie the Philippines and Micronesia. And the world's largest archipelago, Indonesia's constellation of island straddles the divide between the Asian and Australian continental plates. As a result, the islands over a stunning variety of topographies and ecologies miss shrouded volcanoes and um, mountains unexplored rainforest thousands of miles of beaches and endless offshore reefs support a dazzling abundance of wildlife making indonesia an ideal destination for adventure and eco travel right and we did the research in, in, in Yogyakarta. Yogyakarta is the capital city of special region of Yogyakarta in Indonesia, in the south central part of the island of Java. As the only Indonesian royal city still ruled by a monarchy, Yogyakarta is regarded as an important center for classical Japanese, fine arts, and culture such as ballet, um, batik, textiles, drama, literature, music, portrait, silver smithing, um, visual arts, and wayang, yeah, wayang, papa tree, yeah. Okay, and we are going to the next slide, yeah. Um, breastfeeding is also a human right that needs to be respected, protected, and fulfilled, right? Yeah, uh-oh. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, this is the Yogyakarta. Yogyakarta is a prominent tourist destination in Indonesia. The majority of breastfeed mothers bring their infants on family vacations. However, there are no lactation spaces accessible in tourist areas. Public facilities, lactation rooms are required to meet newborns. A breastfeeding needs as recommended by WHO and the absence of lactation rooms and facilities will hinder mother's ability to breastfeed in public settings yeah you know that um recent research yeah recent research estimate that the increase in exclusive breastfeeding in the world can prevent 823,000 child mortalities and 20,000 maternal mortalities from breast cancer annually and the benefits of breastfeeding have been expanded due to the epidemiological and biological discoveries over the past decades. Despite this, low rates of breastfeeding are still reported in Indonesia. The prevalence of exclusive breastfeeding in children under uh, six months was 54.3%, less than 80%, which is the national target of Indonesia, um, uh, national target of exclusive breastfeeding in Indonesia. Yeah, uh, The proportion of mothers who didn't breastfeed their baby because of lack of milk supply was 65.7% and 68.3% babies in the zero until six months age group were not breastfed for the same reason um you know that un united nation uh, experts have uh, highlighted practical steps to promote support and then uh, protect breastfeeding such as paid maternity leave safe workplace spaces for feeding or expressing and storing um milk better training for health workers and ensuring women have accurate information so they can make informed choices about optimal feeding practices. They also call uh, call for access to good quality breast milk substitutes to be better regulated and um, affordable. Uh, also, the UI, uh, also the, the UN highlighted yeah, that uh, children have the right to life, survival, and development, and to the highest attainable standard of health, of which breastfeeding much must be uh, considered an integral component. Um, oh, cannot extract the embedded. Why? I cannot display this. Yeah, uh, the pictures above depict several breastfeeding spaces in Yogyakarta's tourism area. The lactation rooms appears to be of poor quality. Um, actually, policies and strategies developed in Indonesia to promote, protect, and support breastfeeding already exist. It also contains regulations for the establishment of lactation room in each office and tourism building. But in the reality, it can be seen from the picture above that lactation room facilities are only sober in building and tourist areas. In fact, many have changed uh, their use into storage warehouses. Um, breastfeeding is a critical first step on a child path to a healthy future, but as a foundation for a child's future health and well-being, breastfeeding also is a critical element of worldwide development efforts to create a more healthy, prosperous, and sustainable planet. Yeah, um, as a practical step towards protecting the survival and health of babies and women, breastfeeding is a central part of the. Uh, what is it? 
2030 agenda ya 2030 agenda for sustainable development and is linked to many of the SDGs sustainable um, development goals yeah um, as I oh the yeah yeah the slide is not move can you see my slide yeah uh, as I previously explained, policies regarding exclusive breastfeeding and lactation rooms in each building and tourist area are already exist. Yeah, the following are the regulations regulations of lactation room. Uh, the first is Chukchukarada Majors Regulations Number Seventy of Twenty Twenty concerning guidelines for implementation of regional regulations Number One of Twenty Four uh, Fourteen concerning exclusive breastfeeding and then regulation of the Minister of Health of Republic of Indonesia. And the last one is Article uh, 128, Paragraph 2 and 3 of Law Number 36 of 2009 concerning health. Yeah, so uh, we are going to go, we are going to move to the next slide, yeah. Um, so... Therefore, we made an innovation in the form of a portable lactation room in the tourist area of Jogjakarta City so that tourists who are breastfeeding mothers can feel comfortable and safe in giving the babies their their babies in the in the right to breastfeed. Yeah, uh, this is a Ruang Sehati lactation pot. Yeah, this is our um, objective that the researchers over an innovative pro portable oh, researchers pro pro mm. Riska hello Riska yeah yeah Miss Kita yeah this is for uh, your slide is it right mm -hmm. yeah it's the I slide you, objective I have uh, presentation I, I have as a, a modulator can help you to uh go into the next slide so you can say it's next or next and you can oh, uh actually yeah actually I have a new slide I have a new um file I have mm. a new file to present our presentation today so it doesn't matter if it is uh, different. Uh, it doesn't matter, but uh, you can explain that uh, in your speaking. Uh, but in the, the slides is the final, so uh, we can use uh, these slides. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Is it okay? Um, yeah, it's okay. Okay, I'm going to explain. Uh, our objective, the researchers over an innovative portable public breastfeeding room as a solution. Its purpose, purpose is to measure customer satisfaction with the newly constructed public lactation rooms. Okay, next slide, the methodology. Yeah, okay. Um, we, use the, we use a descriptive analytic method design with purposive sampling techniques to recruit breastfeeding mothers who travel in the tourist area of Malioboro, Yogyakarta. And this design approach provides a comprehensive understanding of a particular situation, a description that convey participants' experiences or actions from their perspective. And in total, 122 questionnaire were completed and generated and the required number of participants was not determined before the study was carried out and the data were collected between june and august uh, 2022 and each questionnaire lasted approximately 15 uh, minutes informed consent was explained to each um, participant before the interview was conducted and confidentially 
of information was strictly maintained by research ethics before each uh, what is it each interview session begins and the researcher allocated sufficient time to build trust and uh, good relations with the participants after the interview was completed a cash receipt of uh, 50,000 was presented 50,000 rupiahs was presented okay uh, going to the next slide yeah um, actually in a new in our new file presentation there is a table yeah the descript descriptive table yeah but I will explain now uh, this study took 122 breastfeeding mothers as respond uh, respondents for quantitative data collection and uh, the average breastfeeding mother who was taken as a respondent was 20, 28 years old. Most of the babies were less than six months old with an average family income of more than um, 3 million rupees and had more than one child, more than 50% worked and with less education, the most uh what is sma in english high school yeah high high school mm -hmm. and more than 90 percent exclusive breastfeeding um from this uh graphic yeah we know that the researcher used a checklist for the quality of lactation room for research that had been carried out in the Netherlands and adapted to condition in Indonesia. Uh, thank you so much for Van Delen, yeah, Van Delen at all 2020. Um, and to find out the average value of respondent satisfaction with the lactation room, Ruang uh, Sahati facility, the results of which are shown in uh, the table, this table, this graphic. And most of the respondents stated that they were satisfied using the uh, ruang lactasi, ruang sehati lactation room facilities, judging by the range of average uh, ratings between 4.10 until 4.92 for the following components, um, fans, signs of the lactation room being used by users, educational posters, tissues, or freshener, uh, lamp, table for putting mother's tools, uh, trash can, mirror, life plants, wash basin, and then diaper, diaper changer, yeah, mother's chair, door with lock, um, lactation room sign and wall color or room design. And respondents were very dissatisfied with the ventilation component, yeah, uh, unfortunately. 1.66 which was considered to cause discomfort due to the lack of ventilation so that it felt um, uh, what is it hot especially when used during the day with uh, hot temperatures and respondents also um, express their dissatisfaction with the ex house fan component uh, 3. 84 and because it doesn't have much effect on indoor air circulation when used uh, during the day so uh, the facility safety comply with the privacy code of conduct and then provide facility in accordance with standards and ensure location um, efficiency is uh, our the respondents say yeah and the major issue is are uh, requires redesign and then limited units um i think oh no no i think but we think yeah it's necessary to improve the design of the ruang sehati lactation room so that tourists who are breastfeeding and their babies are more comfortable using it and then um, a leading sector is needed to carry out further maintenance on this ruang lactasi, yeah, uh, ruang sehati lactation room. And then um, a cool, clean, and strategic location is needed to place the 
Ruang Sehati Electrician Room in the tourist area of Jogjakarta City. And the last but not least in is uh, additional units of the Ruang Sahati Electrician Room are needed, especially in tourist areas that do not have permanent rooms. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, going to the next slide. Yeah, so thank you for your attention. Terima kasih banyak semua. Okay, thank you, Miss Kiawati, uh, for I'm the speaking. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, okay, that's all about the presentation. Thank you so much, Miss Kiawati, for the speaking. Uh, it's, uh, it's awesome and it's impactful, so interesting topic. And now let's move on the next agenda, which is Q&A session. Is there anyone who is willingly to ask? Please write your name and question in the public chat panel. Okay, I can. Okay, it's about feedback uh, from Fanny Vidayanti. It's our, it's your team, right? And the cat black. Thank you. Great study and wonderful opportunity and care for breastfeeding. Okay, good feedback. From Corina Estiring Tias, congratulations to Mbak Kita and Kim. Thank you so much for your feedback. Okay, is there any question for the session six? from Miss Kiawati is a valuable topic yeah interesting topic about ruang sehati and lactation room in the public area in Yogyakarta okay thank you for your feedback from Siti Kuzaina from Miss Elvina okay um I think um Miss Kiawati is uh speak about the ruang sehati lactation room in public area so uh, i i want to ask uh, one question maybe of uh, to miss kiawati about the scale up innovation uh, how do you plan to scale up uh, the ruang sehati or the lactation room in yogyakarta maybe in the in the next area or the next um, city maybe so what what do you uh, scale up? How do you scale up uh, with your team, Miss Kiawati? Yeah. Okay, Riska. Thank you so much oh, for your okay. question. Yeah. Uh, so for this question, maybe I would like to help Kia to answer your your question since okay. Kia just texted me uh, that her baby is crying at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about yeah. it. Okay, so uh, this is really an interesting question. So uh, we would like to thank you for Jogjakarta government because we uh they provided like some fundings for us and then uh in this occasion we also uh develop uh, some new portable lactation pods in uh some parts uh of tourism area in Yogyakarta as well so yeah so now we are still improving about the architecture for uh, the lactation pods since uh, based on the previous evaluation we we really um, consider about some aspects that uh, mm -hmm. some participants feel a bit you know like not comfortable with the actually about the ventilation so now we are trying to improve about the facilities of the lactation pod itself like to to make the breastfeed mothers like to be more comfortable and there are lots of improvement for the next lactation pods as well and we also um promote 
uh, we, we are also promoting these lactation pods to everyone. So there are lots of mass media that uh, reported about our lactation pods. So if you are trying to Googling about uh, Ruang Sahati lactation pods, then you will get some information about it. Thank you. Wow, it's wonderful, and sure, uh, and it's a valuable, maybe, uh, and important for the city, uh, especially in Yogyakarta, because Yogyakarta is the tourist uh, city, a tourism city, and I think Marioboro and other place is need ruang sehati lactation room, and also in the next uh, city or next country, maybe, uh, Miss Fanny. Yeah, that, that's really great if we could collaborate with another researcher from another uh, region, maybe in Indonesia or worldwide, yeah, to develop uh, the lactation pods, yeah. Okay, thank you so much.